Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I depart as air, I shake my white locks at the runaway sun. Song of Myself is a 6.5% German-inspired IPA from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. Will you speak before I'm gone? Will you prove already too late? Now you may see this on store shelves and ask yourself, what's going on with this beer? Why has it got a big number one on it? What's up with the label? Song of Myself is the first in a seven part series of beer inspired by Leaves of Grass poems of Walt Whitman. Now, being me, I thought Whitman was that guy that put the chocolate samplers together in the yellow box. But come to find out, he's actually a poet and one of Larry Bell's favorites. Now, I'd say that you can think of this series as an analog to the Planet series that Bell's put out a few years back. And each beer of the series is going to complement the season when it's released. Song of Myself is a German-inspired IPA. So let's get a closer look at the label. We'll see what a German-inspired IPA is all about. Fun fact, I doubt I'm going to be able to come up with six more Walt Whitman facts for this whole series. So this is how it's going to be. And I just want to talk about price point for these. these. This comes in a six pack. I picked up a six pack for $11.99, $12. So two bucks a bottle, not really too bad, plus deposit, of course. So looking at the label here across the top, well, the whole label has this gray and kind of a parchment white color to them across the top on the neck of the bottle says Bell's uh, Comstock, Michigan. It has a brew date right here of 5, 10, 19, or I'm sorry, the, the package date, the bottle date, and the label has a big number one at the top, Song of Myself. This is number one of seven. Uh, it says underneath that, Leaves of Grass series. And then across the bottom, it says German-inspired American India Pale Ale, brewed and bottled by Bell's Brewery Incorporated in Comstock, Michigan. And then here on the back, uh, the same motif, the same color theme. It says, this is the first of seven beers celebrating a literary classic and one of our favorites, Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. Brewed to the season, this IPA is made with 100% German malt and hops, putting a European twist on a classic American style. And then it has the, uh, you know, the deposit information, uh, California cash refund, all that good, sh good stuff. This says shelf life three months, again, 6.5% alcohol by volume. And just to reiterate, this was packaged on May 10th. So I'm going to grab an IPA glass. German inspired uh, makes me think it's going to have a bit of a, a lighter twist on maybe something like Two Hearted, which I think they consider to be an American IPA. Let's go ahead and crack this. Uh, again, the cap is a big, I'll show you the overhead. It's a, it's the same color as the label, this gray, bluish kind of gray color, green, blue, gray with a number one on the top. I'm going to go ahead and crack that. There's nothing on the inside. And let's put a nose on the bottle here. It's actually got kind of a little bit of a floral aroma. It has some 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 fruit sweetness coming through on the aroma as well. It's it actually smells really sweet. So let's go ahead and start pouring this. I think it's going to be very light though, looking just kind of through the amber bottle. So pouring this, yeah, it's really light, bright yellow, with a nice head rising up, nice. You know, bubbles compact on the top, on the side for the head are a little bit on the larger side, but this is a good, probably two and a half, three fingers worth of head that formed on this. Really nice and white, almost a brilliant white. The The beer itself is a, is a nice uh, yellow, golden color. It's not too pale, it's not too bright, but it's got a nice bright yellow color. Not too bright, of course, I just said that. So let's hold this up. The head's hanging on pretty well. It's got, again, nice yellow, bright golden color. Um, it is a little tiny bit hazy, but not hazy. You know, it may be a little bit more on the unfiltered side. It's I can see my fingers through here. Uh, they're not super clear, but I can see a little bit of detail on it and a good amount of carbonation rising up for the bottom. Let's get a better nose here on the glass. The fruit smell I'm getting a little bit more now is citrus. Uh, it's, it still has a little bit of a floral aroma, but not as much as it had coming out of the neck of the bottle. But yeah, it smells like, it smells, has a bit of a citrusy, orangey kind of quality to it, bright kind of smell. You can smell it really nice. And again, it has a little bit of a floral smell, really slight in there, but I'm ready to dive right in. That head is stuck around really well. It's not dissipating after this, and it's almost formed this bit of a crown, like a bit of a, you know, a wavy pattern across, but let's go ahead and dive right in. So cheers. Now 
not as sweet as I would have thought from the from the aroma. It's a little bit more. It has a little bit more of that floral character that comes through on the taste on the flavor. The mouthfeel is really light, really crisp. Uh, it's not thin. It's not medium. It's like lies in between. It's light. It lies between the, the thin and the medium. It's right in the middle, but it's got a really crisp, refreshing taste, uh, refreshing mouthfeel. It's kind of got a bit of a crackery kind of breadiness at the beginning. Um, as you go through on the swallow, a little bit more of that floral note comes through. And then there's a bit of a citrus bitterness on the tail. So you get a little bit of that kind of crackery, bready um, kind of flavor right up front from all the malt characteristics. And then you get the floral taste. And then the finish is, again, a citrusy kind of hoppiness, citrus bitterness. And you don't get the bitterness until the very tail end of this. As I hold it on my tongue, a little bit of a sweetness comes through, but it's not really very sweet. Um, it's not sticky. It doesn't have like a sweet syrupy kind of quality to it. Again, not talking about mouthfeel, but taste. This is a really good summer beer. I mean, it's really good for sitting out on a day like today. I'm recording on a Saturday. Today was 80 degrees or I think a little bit over that. This would be a perfect beer, especially the day before was 60. It was like 63 degrees yesterday. Today was 80. So, you know, you hit one of those really big jumps in temperature and you really notice it. And this was a really good beer for that kind of day. One of those really kind of a little bit borderline humid, uh, a little bit you know, a little bit of a, a kind of a searing heat if you're out in the sun. Uh, I know maybe for some of those, um, you know, south of Michigan states, 80 degrees in the middle of May probably isn't very warm, but when it jumps from 63 to 80, it, it feels a little bit oppressive. And this is really a great beer for that kind of day. This is 6.5%. It's not going to knock you off your feet. You can have maybe one or two of these. Um, and it has this, I, I'm, I keep going back to the taste because it has this really kind of light taste on the finish that I'm, I'm really actually digging quite a bit. It This is like, it tastes like an IPA light. I mean, it's an IPA, it has that bitterness to it, but the ABV isn't super high up there. And this is one where maybe if you know somebody that's not really into, into IPAs or maybe they're too bitter, this is a really nice kind of mixture. It's almost like borderline uh, something that would be like a cross between a Pilsner uh, and a IPA because it has a little bit of that breadiness, that IPA, I'm sorry, that Pilsner kind of breadiness at the beginning. And then at the end, it doesn't have the sweetness that a Pilsner would have or that kind of clear kind of taste, but it has that those IPA bitterness qualities at the tail end. So I think it'd be a really good gateway for somebody that's more into macro style beers or maybe more into lagers or Pilsners. And then you could bring them on to the dark side with all the IPAs, the light side of the dark side with the IPAs. But yeah, this is going to be, I believe this is going to be, again, it's kind of going to be a little bit like the planet series that i talked about earlier which the only one they've released recently was mars uh and, but this it has that same kind of thing it'll be limited you probably won't see it much outside of this month so if what i've described sounds like something you're interested in you might want to jump onto it this month or when you see it because i i talked to somebody at a bottle shop they said that they got their initial shipment and they're expecting probably one more big shipment and that's going to be it so if if you have this and you've, if you, and you've liked it, uh, if you want to buy more, you might want to jump on it now because if you wait too long, you might not have a chance. But yeah, this is definitely something I could sit and drink on a really nice warm day and relax and enjoy it. Again, 6.5% is not going to knock you off your feet, but it'll do the job and you can probably have a few without feeling too many effects from it. All right, friends, that has been Song of Myself from Bell's Brewery. Have you had this? Do you plan on trying this one or maybe some others in the series? And do you consider beer to be art? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to click subscribe and the bell because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's all free for viewers just like you. And I think you'd be pretty upset if you missed your newest favorite because you weren't subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to keep submitting those questions to the Draft Therapy hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. If you want to win some Draft Therapy goodies, I'll be doing an upcoming Q&A video or maybe a live stream. I'll answer some of those questions that you might have from that line. And I'll pick one person at random to win some, some stickers or maybe some other stuff. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>